besties welcome back to the patreon so as you can tell by the title we are watching leave the world behind it is a new netflix movie that dropped literally yesterday yeah i have been avoiding all spoilers like the plague i just wanted to dive into this movie and i thought it'd be best if we watch it together like we did the changeling you guys seem to be liking this content so i'm glad because it's so much easier for me to watch the movie with you guys and you like experience it with me than to just watch it take a bunch of notes and then like try to give you the you know but yeah so what i'm looking at right now the full movie is two hours and 21 minutes long this is not the titanic like i just don't understand why they thought it was a good idea to make this movie so long so i want to try to save as much <coughs> camera space as i can and not waste any more time so yeah we're just gonna dive straight into this let's get cozy make sure you have your wine your water or your rolling tray or whatever you need to tune in with me like who are you to close off earth for legal reasons if any kids are watching you're working out convince us that the earth is like a globe when I just don't I just don't believe it oh are we in New York did I know that I don't think I realized where they were and no the trailer looked like they were like on a beach somewhere Amanda I couldn't sleep and it has been such a hellish year for us and I just seem to be working every day without even realizing it I went online this morning and I rented us a lot of blue right now like a lot of blue beautiful house out by the beach and it was such a steal, even though it's barely the off season. Are we Are being packing? blue -pilled? But help me out here, babe. Why today? When I couldn't fall back asleep this morning, I watched the sun rise. And I saw all these people starting their day with such tenacity, such verve, all in an effort to make something of themselves, make something of our world. I felt so lucky to be a part of that. Am I the only one that feels like Ethan Hawke is not Kevin Bacon? Like, they're the same person to me, but like, he's like a diet Kevin Bacon. Whenever I see him, I'm like, oh, Kevin Bacon. And I'm like, no, that's Ethan Hawke. Then I remembered what the world is actually like, and I came to a more accurate realization. I hate people. <laughs> me too, sis. Out for blood as it looks like blood is going on planes this is interesting like the movie started with like a bunch of blue symbolism but now i'm seeing like a lot of red like uh, teeth teeth the crosses and okay inverted crosses at that so even the clocks were inverted the beginning started off blue and then i'm guessing we're gonna go to in like an inverted reality where everything is red and chaotic executive producers barack and michelle the sound waves frequency is everything <laughs> yo Oh, the eye. Look at that. This is just the opening. This is not even the movie. Like, Leave the world behind. That's what it said on the rental listing. We're starting with the name of the movie that fast? I love this. Sorry, boys. This ride's closing. Is she watching Friends? So we're just going to throw Friends in there after Chandler just died. Oh, we're in a blue car, too. Okay, so, and her iPad is blue. The checkerboard on his pants. Are we serious? I don't think that's real, honey. Just the set. Like the world, the world is a stage. Everything around you is a set right now, babe. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna like this. Okay, house, part one. So we're about to be broken up into, okay, this is like a like a stage, like a play. Like act one, act two. All the blue eyes oh, on the nice. thing, is, are those eyes? Yeah. Looks like we have some top shelf booze right here. It says here it's not for us. Stay out of it. They wasted no time. The Wi-Fi password is a novella. The owner must be one of those cybersecurity guys. I'm feeling a little soundtrack already though. Oh, and we're spinning around. Alice in Wonderland, we saw a lot of that in the Changeling too. Her whole world is about to be flipped. Foreshadowing, they're gonna be on the beach. Even the freaking supermarket is blue and it's point comfort. So they're letting you know this right now, everything that we're experiencing is comforting. We think everything is good. Everything is blue. Pretty soon, it's gonna turn red. I already know it. Is that her husband? No, that's real Kevin Bacon. I just said that Ethan Hawke and Kevin Bacon are the same person to me and now real Kevin Bacon is checking her out at the store. Are they, t tell me that's not the same man. Ooh, the red and blue, the red and blue. We're spinning in the loop. And look how far that boat is back there. And they want me to believe that there's a curve. There's no curve. We practically have the beach to ourselves. And the zoom ins, everything, the, the music, everything is chaotic right now. <laughs> Everything's about to go to shit. She got a red band around her head. I'm so happy that I have you guys because if I was watching this with a person next to me, they would be pissed off already. Look at that boat, it's so big. And why would it be coming directly 
at us. So that really is a big boat if you can see it from that far away like that. It's getting closer. What is? Ship. It's getting closer. Are we just gonna ignore the ship? You okay, Rose? I think that ship is heading towards us. It is. Hello. What was that, sweetie? Play. Wow. It's getting close, huh? I think that's a problem. You think? No, nah, come on. It's gonna stop. It's got to. Why does it have to? Get, get up and move. Oh. Why are you not running uh, up that way too? White lion. Basically destruction and like rebirth, I think it is. That's a sign. And it's red, is it half red and blue or is that black? They knew what they was doing dropping this right now. Meanwhile, you think this is, come on. The kids seem to have completely gotten over it like it was something they saw on a show. We're on to the next episode. Oh, it's a deer. Clay. What are you whispering for? He's mad far. That's a good omen, seeing deer. At least according to Mesoamerican mythology. Is it a good omen here? The last one. I'll make it hard. Oh, Jenga, everything crashes isn't down. That the point like your whole world life. is about to. Shh. Did you hear that? I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her second book, an Sir, I said shush. How media serves as both an escape and a reflection, which is a contradiction that she manages to reconcile. No, yeah. Yeah, Someone's I heard that. Oh, no, they're knocking. <laughs> Sir. So sorry to bother you. You're dressed smartly. <laughs> oh, that's Pia! So sorry to bother you. From Black Mirror! <laughs> My girl's getting jobs! Well, can I help you? I know it's late. Can not decide if you should knock at the front door or the side door, and this went on for some time. I thought we should try the side door because it has glass. You must be Amanda, uh, Amanda Sanford, right? You two know each other? No. We have not had the pleasure of meeting face to face. I'm G.H. Scott. I'm the owner of this house. He's George. That's how it reads in his email. Forgive me. See, this is why I much prefer life before the internet. Because we would have spoken on the phone, we would have recognized my voice and known that this is our house. Not them in the dark and them in the light. What in the get out is this? I'm sorry? This is our house. I'm it's the owner of this house, like I said. <laughs> no, I, I remember the name, I just... You're black. <laughs> she don't think he could own the house because he's black. Come on in. I understand how strange this Those must blue be for eyes us. Like there's, you can't trust the blue-eyed people. We'd have called, you see, but uh, the phones are out. Yeah, my uh, my phone doesn't seem to have service. It's almost as if we're telling the truth. I'm Clay. Ruth. And I'm GH again. GH. Clay, nice to meet you. Yeah. Why don't we sit down? Children are sleeping. I mean, Archie'd sleep through the atom bomb. Let's go to the kitchen. He's on the board of the Philharmonic. He likes to encourage everyone he knows to take an interest in classical music. Do you mind if I get a glass of water? Help yourself. We were driving back to the city, then something happened. A blackout. The lights here seem to be working pretty good. Exactly right. We live on the 14th floor and he can't climb 14 flights because of his knee. And said that he would feel better if we stayed here in his house. <laughs> We're staying here. Under the circumstances, we, we thought you might understand. Of course. <laughs> He's a, of he course. Manages. Because again, you know, it is like our house. Our house. <laughs> we could absolutely refund you your money. You want us to leave? It's the middle of the night. That's not, not what I said. Leave. I would just refund you your money, you stay. We could refund you 50% of what you paid. You know, there's an in-law suite. We could stay downstairs. Downstairs. 50%. I don't feel comfortable no. staying in a house with people I don't know. Black people I don't know. <laughs> it's a blackout. It could be over in a couple of hours. Yeah, because I'm the owner of this house. He's in a movie on Prime, and like I think they like doubled him. Was it him? I want to watch that. I can give you a thousand dollars now for the night. I think we should discuss this privately. Girl, why did you tell them they could stay? I mean, it's a blackout. They look innocent enough. They're strangers. They introduce themselves. <laughs> they... This is their home, as you know. The girl kept mm -hmm. reminding. Forget it. Rose is right down the hall. What if he sneaks in? I don't want to think about it. You don't think he'd want to Archie though? He came here because he doesn't want to climb a flight of f***ing stairs. Yeah, that's not a flight. That was 14 flights. Improvised. With a bad knee. Now oh, you're being ableist. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, hey, he had the keys. He opened up the liquor cabinet. Maybe he's the handyman. She's the housekeeper. This is getting racial. Back like, I wish I had your faith in people. Well, you already started this whole movie off saying how much you hate people, so we know. That is a heck of a cocktail. You should try this, babe. I'll pass. I think I need some fresh air. You have a beautiful home. We love it. Glad to hear you do too. How long have you been here? Bought it almost 20 years ago now. Where's your wife? She's on a work trip in Morocco. Her flight is due back here in the morning, actually. Uh huh. Can I see your ID? Oh, I mean, that is, is that is. After a stranger showing up in the middle of the night, my kids are upstairs. I understand. Well, you're not gonna believe this, but I left my wallet in my coat pocket, which I checked at the symphony. You said you heard about the blackout while you were on your way home. <laughs> Programs during this alert. 
big blue. Looks like you did the right thing getting out of the city. It's a mess. Oh, we're only talking about a blackout here. A blackout is not nothing. The uh, symptom of something bigger, like terrorism, a bomb, like the one that you said your son would take you. <laughs> Yo, Pia, relax. I think that you should stay here tonight. You think? Like I said, all comes crashing down. I can't believe we're staying in the basement. We need to get them out of here. We're not gonna do that by scaring them. They need to think everything's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay, isn't it? What is happening? What's going on? What are you thinking? Your client didn't tell you anything else, did he? There's no point of talking about this until we know more. But what do you know that you're not telling us? Well, there is not one photo. It's There's a B&B, &B, bro. Why would they have personal pictures around? Right. I'm sure they take them down when they rent the house. Why didn't you say anything about what we saw at the beach today? That oh, mm -hmm. just seemed like it was piling on. Why didn't you? I was afraid that would confirm something. Oh, wake up, everybody. We were in the blue. Now we're in the like the fog. Oh, I'm like, what kind of noise is that? Was the satellite shutting down? I was literally about to start the friend series finale. My iPad still isn't working. I read somewhere that they what's it called when they used to play old things over and over? Again? Reruns. Reruns. Why do they do that again? I don't know, Rosie. They made us feel like shows were way longer back then too because there was reruns on all the time. I have incredible anxiety about how they're gonna wrap up the show. Like, why are you laying over me like that? <laughs> Hackers behind. What kind of Clay. language was that? <laughs> Get up. What did it say? There were four news alerts. Um, two about the blackout and one that said hackers. Hackers were behind the power outage. Did they hack the cell network? Is that, is that a question? Are you asking me? How would I know? <laughs> Those people are still in our house? It's not your house, it's their I'm house. Hand. I'll go to the store, buy a newspaper, find someone who knows more than we do. Why would newspapers be getting delivered out if the news is not like please? <laughs> Dad, the TV isn't Whoa, working. Easy. Well, now it's snow. Last night it was a blue screen. Like I said, first it was blue, what? now it's snow. Yeah, see. Can you like reboot it or something? Or go is it just me or does she look really grown in like this tiny little body? She reminds me of the girl from Hereditary. <laughs> girl, you're on vacation. Go swim or something for real. These new kids are strange. Imagine having a whole pool back there and then worrying about a screen. Oh, there's a lot of them now. Oh, of course she has on a NASA shirt. The deception of it all. Girl, do you want to get eaten? Oh, what is going on? There's mad at them. Oh yeah, something's going on. The animals are migrating. It's over. Once you see a bunch of animals gathering in a pack like that, you run. You mind if I have some coffee? Help yourself. You know where the mugs are, right? I had news alerts on my phone this morning. Your phone is working? No, they must have come in overnight somehow and then they disappeared. There were two about the blackout and then something about hackers being behind it. Hackers? Mm -hmm. Where are the power plants in New York City? I mean, they must be in Queens, I guess, or, or near the river. Why are you asking about power plants? Hackers can get into power plants. That's probably how they caused the outage. You remember that thing that happened in Jersey a few years back? It nearly caused a meltdown. Are they telling us that that whole that boom thing right? that happened a few years ago was hackers? She's... I was literally on FaceTime with my mom when that happened, and everything was green. Like, the whole sky was green. It's like a big flash. I don't want to scare anyone, but I disagree with you. Disagree with me about what? It being nothing. I don't think this is nothing. Yeah. So, what is it that you do? I'm in advertising, manage relationships. And you, what is it that you do? I'm still figuring my shit out. Dad Daddy's rich. Sucked into a career that I regret 10 years from now, by which point I will be trapped by the pressure to stay the course because I'll be too old to re-enter the workforce. You know what I mean? Thought I'd go over to our neighbor's house, the Huxley's. They only live a few miles down the road. Before you go, you might want to hear about the alerts. I had news alerts on my phone this morning. Maybe hackers were behind it. Hmm. Huh? Do you think there's going to be a meltdown too? Is that what Ruth told you? Among other horrifying things. Obviously, Ruth is being a little paranoid. I don't think she is. She the one who always said, if you're not paranoid by now, it's probably too late. I'm sure this will turn out to be a big nothing. Like that love you bug. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's a love you bug? A, a right. worm spread throughout the internet back in 2000. People would get an email with a subject line that read, I love you. Clicked on the attachment, it would send it to all your contacts. It crippled businesses and caused billions of dollars Damn, in debt. I was too young for that. Turns out it was just two teenagers in the Philippines. Or like good Bye world with Kit Cudi. Did y'all see that? It's on YouTube. I could watch that too. I saw it when it first came out. I think that was like 2017. This kind of feels like that actually. What do you know, black man? You looking at the gun? What you looking at over there? I'm worried about mom. You think her flight is gonna be okay? Why would planes still be able to fly? Matter of fact, I bet she's been redirected to some airport in Ohio. No GPS. They shut down the grid for real. Where's that noise coming from? Oh. Definitely.
literally their house. <laughs> oh, you sis. The Huxleys are not home. What happened to their driveway? I wish you could hear this. Are you getting these tried? But it's not going through. Flight number not showing up. Mm. Being a parent is crazy because like you gotta try to keep it all together like for your kid and like yikes. He knows the world is ending. I knew he grabbed the gun. I knew he grabbed the gun. <laughs> yeah, your son's not racist. <laughs> she could feel it. Where'd the deer go? Horses just living wild and free. Tiny farms. Ew, like the guy who made it so that black people couldn't be considered US citizens. Yes. The fallout from the ongoing cyber attack has led to a catastrophic environmental disaster in the south, impacting animal migration patterns. Uh, so this town is real racial. And I said we was getting racial. And you see how they have that hidden box, like their little hidden area where all their black memorabilia is? This is crazy. Oh, he's in the upside down. What happened? It looks like a tornado just hit their yard. What the hell? Oh, their door is open. Archie, I saw something this morning. Deer. Yeah, a bunch of them. Stop being a weirdo. No, this was different. Like, they were trying to tell us something. Yeah, to run. I'm going. Um. Oh, do they have, like, a beach? Like, a waterfront house. Like, it's the beach, like, there. Did it splash from the boat? Pare! Pare! Senor! I don't know what you're saying, ma'am. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't, I don't speak, um, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, he got government phones and stuff. And even those not working. Oh, we got Obey and we got NASA over there. Obey NASA. We're getting real. They live. Like, yeah, like the Obey. And we was really running around wearing that OD, like with the Supreme, the Obey, all of that Urban Outfitter stuff. What is this? Ma'am, I can't. He's gonna drive off. Sorry. Sorry. What would y'all do though? Like in the end of the world situation, would you be picking up people or like would you just be tunnel vision, get home and figure out what's going on? Like what if it was a virus like and you picked her up and then she got you sick, but then like it's not like, I don't know. It's so many like, oh my gosh. Oh, they do live right by the beach, huh? Is that a nose? What is that? That is a nose. Oh, a hand, oh my gosh. Oh, like, why would a watch be on a nose, Shelby? Like, but it looked like a nose, right? Like, oh, oh, it was a plane crash. What is that though? Why is it red? Where's the plane? That is one of my biggest fears. There's the plane. Is that blood? What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, those are papers. <laughs> It's not funny, Archie. That really hurt. Oh, like, grow oh, up. God, no, God, you grow up. This morning, I saw deer. Not a deer. A fuck lot of deer. A hundred, maybe more. Right in the backyard. It, it was really weird, Archie. Why didn't you go inside and tell anybody? Go around in big groups like that? Why the fuck would I know anything about deer? Like, who needs enemies when you have siblings? Oh my God. Bro, run. Another one though? Like, are they guiding the boats and the planes directly here? Like, this is premeditated. That's his, that, oh. Oh my God. That's why the first, oh my God. Do y'all not hear that? Like when that happens? You going in? No, you? It seems like a hassle. Why, because of your hair or? Yeah. Your daughter watches that show? The last one. Watch is far too weak of a word, more like worships. Friends is such an odd show to be worshiping. Nostalgia trap. Don't get me wrong, I watched it too, but it's almost nostalgic for a time that never existed, you know? Nostalgia trap. R.I.P. Chandler. <laughs> they sacrificed my boy. Oh, now you have Lyme disease. Obey NASA is still crazy though. Like, that's insane to me. Archie, look. All NASA does is deceive. Look, look, bro. Will you please look? What? We should go up there. No, f*** that. I'm hungry. Come on, let's go. You gonna tell us why you're soaking wet? Plane crash. I fell into the pool. So, bro, what? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Why are you lying? Did, did you have something to do with this? I saw it a while ago before all this happened. I looked at the market and I knew something was coming. 
Just like everybody on Twitter, all the conspiracy theorists. In my line of work, you have to understand the patterns that govern the world. Everything is about patterns. It's been as long as I have doing it, it can help you see the future. But we could call fear mongers. That's what I'm saying. You just got to know the patterns. It's always a pattern and it always follows and it's always true. If it's fake, why is it real? Did your neighbor say something? There was no neighbors. It was a plane crash, no, babe. No, home. There's a satellite phone. I thought it could help us. It didn't work even though it had enough juice. Because the satellites are down. The whole point of a satellite phone is that you always have a signal if you have a clear view of the sky. Our satellites ones in space. Yes. The satellites are networked to computers down here. So you think that... The hackers knocked out our satellites. Yes. Maybe you just didn't use the phone right. I saw a plane nose dive out of the sky into the ocean. Are we listening now? But it wasn't the first. Yeah. I no longer think that this is just a couple of teenagers in the Philippines. What the f Yeah, I was about to say, they got dark in there, huh? Oh. Where are my kids? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can still hear it without it being on my ears. Oh, this movie is trying to kill us. What is, oh my God, what are they? Tr no, this is, this is, this has to do with the programming. There's absolutely no way. It's not even on my head. Stop it. Oh my God. If they say anything, I just, I, oh my God, this is still going. Oh, this is an attack for real. Oh, the red flashing too. Oh my God, they're trying. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, noise. Oh no. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Obey NASA after all of that. All that flashing was programming people to believe us when we tell you that there's a solar flare there's when that. we're really gonna be attacking ourselves yeah, she, because that's what they do. Should have covered my ears sooner. Now my head feels weird. That's probably normal. It was really loud. You also got bit by a tick. Was that a sonic boom? Since you're the one with the crystal ball, what was that? A bomb? A missile? Could have been a power plant explosion. She's stuck on this power plant. We don't know anything for certain yet. We should fill the bathtubs full of water. Is there enough batteries and Tylenol and food and the generator and one of those uh, hand crank radios and a straw that makes it safe to drink dirty water? I think we shouldn't do anything until Clay comes back. What if he's not coming back? Okay, we're safe here. We should just sit tight. I mean, there are power plants here, aren't there? Why are you so obsessed with power I plants? Just... There's the blackout and planes crashing and... What? She's an adult. You cannot protect her just like you cannot protect me right now. The satellite phone not working. And then that noise. And then what? What happens next in that sequence? I haven't believed you since you walked through that front door. I wonder what it is about us that makes you so mistrustful. Always think you know what you're talking about. Well, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? <laughs> it's true. Like, what? <laughs> With her big blue dress. He knew there was a guy in the parking lot. He bought cases of water and canned goods. Kevin Bacon. Bearded guy, probably wearing an old cowboy's hat. Proclaimed survivalist. That shopping list is probably a typical weekend for him. Well, it should be a typical weekend for everybody, clearly. Get your survival kits together. Stock up on your water. Okay, it was this huge drone flying in the middle of nowhere, dropping off thousands of these. Oh, no that was a says. drone. Oh, be for real. Are you really trying to 9 11 us right now? Death to America. I don't know what the rest of this means, but but this part, it definitely means death to America. I remember from a game I was playing. Nothing about this makes sense. If they were attacking us, why would they advertise it like this? Not even in English. What's the point of dropping these things? Here? To make people panic. You play a seed now they think oh we're being attacked by terrorists with what we know the city would be the worst place for you to go don't spin the block that work what's about to turn y'all back around they really did two plane crashes two twin planes crashed into the same exact spot back to back and then dropped a bunch of arabic red flags out of the sky saying death to america we'll look back on this one day and laugh again Nobody's gonna look back at nothing and laugh. Shut up. So conveniently, a bunch of Teslas drove to the same exact spot, parked up and crashed, blocking people's way out conveniently. How long have I been saying that Teslas have a kill switch and that they will take them just like an upload and take their car to wherever and drive it straight to... These are the Obamas. They wanted you to know this because this movie was a book and they turned it into a movie now. They're all brand new Teslas. Hey, someone's coming. Full self-driving capability, automatic driving. They drove themselves from the dealership to there to block them off. There's another one coming. Clay, get in the car. Can we wait and talk to him? Get in the car right now. Maybe they know something. There's no one in that car. <laughs> Yo! Oh! Yo! Now 
hell do y'all understand why I do not, oh my gosh, I do not trust, oh my gosh, I do not trust these cars. And they're trying to force everybody to have self-driving cars. By what year was that? I posted it on Twitter, I'll share it. The flood. Does the military have a bomb shelter or a base around The military here? don't give up. Those things oh, ready for and they're pushing yeah. everything towards AI and self cleaning and self driving and self this and this, 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 like, Bro, when will, like, humans are not gonna be doing anything. They're, we're gonna be like Wally, and they're gonna destroy Earth, and you're gonna have to have a first class seat in space. In the morning, maybe. Maybe what? Maybe, I don't know. Do you have a plan? Like, planes are falling out of the sky. She's still stuck on this one episode. She cannot watch the last ones. Whatever, we get it, bro. Y'all are the last ones. You're a pervert. You're a pervert. Oh my God. Literally, you're a pervert. Little, oh my gosh. First of all, this is so uncalled for. Like, this is such an uncalled for scene. Like, the people who write these movies are weird. What are you doing? What do it look like? I'm baking a cake. Filling up the tub. Oh. Oh. Y'all see the deer? Oh my God. Girl, go do the flicky thing again. I have never seen anything like this. The black and white painting behind them is just... Now we are enjoying a drink together. All it takes is the world to end. I am sorry, by the way. The quiet is so noisy. It's one of the first things I noticed when we started spending nights here. Quiet is very loud. Moving from New York to North Carolina when I was younger, it was like the silence was deafening for me. But then now I like crave it. Like I want to be back there so bad in the silence. Everything is so loud here. Why did you really come here? One of my clients invited me and my wife to a private event. I won't say his name, but you'd recognize it though. In the business world, he's one of the biggest out there. Hush hush, top secret money from the Pentagon. Perhaps the most powerful person I've ever met with. Actually, he starts in how much he likes me and how he wishes he could invite me on this trip he's about to go on. And he says, Just this is my annual meeting with the rest of the evil cabal that runs the world. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if you'll excuse me, off my mind. Yesterday before the symphony, my friend calls me up. No schedule appointment like he usually does, just calls me out of the blue. He wants me to move around some of his money. And we're talking some big numbers even for him. He tells me he's going away for a while. Oh yeah, you hanging with your evil cabal this weekend? Thought that was only during the winter solstice. The evil cabal that runs the world. That he doesn't laugh. He always laughs, even with bad jokes. And why would the person in the evil cabal that runs the world already know that there was going to be a hacker attack? Are you thinking that your friend is somehow behind what's happening here? No, nothing like that conspiracy theory about a shadowy group of people and the world is far too lazy of an explanation especially when the truth is much scarier okay so what's the truth what is the truth no one is in control might have the right kind of access to the right kind of information but when events like this happen in the world best even the most powerful people can hope for is a heads up see how they flash all those lights and do all that noise and then tell you little things and try to plant things in your head like oh don't focus on the evil cabal who runs the world nobody is running anything <laughs> Um, you got bit by a tick. You have Lyme disease. I'm never gonna find out what happens to Ross and Rachel, am I? You're still on this? Why do you care so much about that show anyway? Because I started it. I wanna know how it finishes. They make me happy. I care about them. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Oh, you're an asshole. Just saying. Yeah, you're probably right. The way things are going, you're not gonna see that show ever again. I don't like him. In three days, you'll start coughing it's up weird. blood. We're not having any cicadas. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you're keeping from us? Well, we saw an oil tanker ground like right up on the beach. If we were being attacked, oil is something that you would want a lot of. Okay, and... dude, you know what? Your word choices are like freaking me the fuck out. Well, did you want the truth or not? Flamingos. We're officially in Jumanji. Hi. Now little girl, come tell them how you saw all the deer. And he saw all those birds at the beach. Like Everybody's jazz. seen a bunch of animals that are migrating places you that they don't You want to listen to belong. jazz? Now this looks like something a lady can properly dance to. I wonder if she could tell. I already said it to be and I like the soundtrack. Okay. Uh -oh, like... all right. mm -hmm. Um, his wife is on a plane somewhere. Maybe crashed, but your husband's upstairs. I mean, outside. <laughs> Two worlds colliding, and look at all the colors behind them, mixing up on the bookshelf. No more black and white photo behind them. Oh. We're drunk. Oh, we're married. I'm married. Such a really? weird song we playing in the background, you know? Out there. Stop. I really miss it. We'll see her again. It might be the right song. <laughs> Don't fetishize this black man right now because you thought he was the help at first. Now he's smelling all good, looking all good. You know he owned his house. He don't own his house. Oh, now she's on her knees. Nothing is going to happen to Ruth. I promise. You can't promise that. Amanda, we gotta start seeing this for what it is. 
grids are down. Don't say that. The, girl. Have... I thought we left the noise. We're on the flood. Why is there noise? And the fact that they're really attacking us with the noise in the middle of this, like. And I hear noises like this in the back of movies all the time and nobody else hears them. I'd be like, do you hear that? In um, my breakdown for, what was that? Not even a breakdown, just my opinions on Don't Look Up. I was hearing that high pitched noise throughout the movie. It was killing me. Is he okay? He's a little warm, but I think he'll be fine. He has Lyme disease. That's what you get from ticks, right? I keep thinking about this one West Wing episode about a man who lived by the river. He hears on the radio that the river's gonna flood the town and everyone should leave. But the man doesn't go anywhere because he prays every day, knows that God loves him and will save him. But then the flood actually happens. This guy in a rowboat sees the man and says, Hey, come on, I can save you. But the man tells him he isn't going anywhere. Then a helicopter comes flying by. And the pilot lowers a ladder. But the man tells him he isn't going anywhere. Because he thinks God After that, the man drowns in the flood. And so he goes up to heaven, really angry and at God. He asks God, why didn't you save me? He, he tells said, him, I sent you a boat and a freaking I helicopter. Day, I thought you loved me. Why didn't you save me? Then God says, I sent you a radio report, a rowboat, and a helicopter. What more do you want? Sent you all these signs. You did not pay attention to the signs. You waiting for this man to pop up and say, hey. What's this about, Rose? My parents said we gotta get out of it. We gotta go. I think I'm done waiting. Let's move. Let's do something. Hello? Your son has Lyme disease. He's literally gonna call for blood in three days. Like, he's about to die. This shit goes down. Do you trust these people? I don't trust them. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. If the world falls apart, trust should not be dulled out easily to anyone, especially white people. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the red. Where are we watching from right now? Are we on the moon? They really trying to pro obey NASA. They're just trying to program us that they was on the moon. Oh my God. Y'all better go talk to Kevin Bacon. Where's Rosie? I don't know. She got up before us. How are you feeling, baby? He's dead. I think this is a Pretty joke. Because he's dead. Does your throat hurt? Oh. Well. What is that? What? Is that blood? What oh, his teeth are coming out. Oh my god. What are you fucking doing? I'm like, he's literally coughing up blood, but his teeth are coming up. What the fuck? Are those your Is teeth? he dreaming? Because literally. Oh my god, is he dreaming? Is he dreaming? Oh my god, oh my god. Stop oh my doing god. that. I see. Uh, clearly, why are you Clay. pulling them like that? Something. Are you dreaming? Clay. Please be dreaming. Oh. Okay. The last one. Isn't that what her episode on Friends is called? How are you feeling? Besides your teeth falling out, I mean. What kind of question is that? He's obviously sick. I'm not sick, Mom. My teeth just fell out. You got bit by a tick. Who's the bug that bit me? Uh, finally. Probably just a tick, Lyme disease. I've seen stranger symptoms. They're back in front of the black and white. They're house. disagreeing right you know, now. If I know Danny, he's prepared for anything. He might have something useful. Where's Rose? I couldn't find her. She, she said she was tired here. of waiting. She's but going and figure out like what's going on right. on her own. The apocalypse is coming. His teeth are falling out. That literally means death. Like, death is coming. Oh, Archie, Archie. Uh, you all right? Uh, you, you're, uh, I don't know uh, this. Is Lyme disease contagious, or do you have to also get bit by a tick? You can't leave. The world could be ending out there. Set a timer. One hour. I'll be back. People always want to separate in the middle of the apocalypse. And now we're spinning in a spiral. Yo, why is everybody, like, why are people splitting up? The three S's of thrillers, stupidity, sex, and separation. You don't do that. Don't, don't, just don't do it. Don't be stupid. Don't stop and have sex in the middle of the apocalypse and do not separate. Like, she said she was done waiting. What did she mean? I want to know what the f is the plan that we can find my kid and then get in your f expensive car and drive to an actual hospital who will tell me that my baby is okay. I want to get the f away from here and you and whatever is happening. It's happening to all of us. I know that it is. Stop yelling at me. Yeah. What do you get out of being so angry all the time? Wrinkles. <laughs> My whole job is to understand people well enough so that I know how to lie to them so I can sell them things they don't really want. Life of an advertiser. We f each other over all the time. We f every living thing on this planet over and think it'll be fine because we use paper straws and order the free range chicken. An agreed upon mass delusion to help us ignore and keep ignoring how awful we really are. I don't want to be this way. So then stop. Oh. Is that a stampede or are things hitting the windows? Oh, the deer. I thought crows were like slapping into the shed. <laughs> Who are you? I'm gonna need you and your.
your comrade to step off the porch and stand by your vehicle. Okay. You'll never be safe enough in the middle of an apocalypse. Imagine what a shit show the city must be right now. But we came out here because my son needs help. He lost his teeth. Huh. His teeth, huh? Well, it's gotta have something to do with that noise. You know something about the noise? It's not all that dissimilar to what happened in Cuba a while back. Microwave weapons, they call it, produces a kind of radiation that can be beamed out. Oh, and sound. he said, remember he was Some like massaging his teeth, jaw when he too. said he should have covered his ears sooner. Outside of that, the only thing I know for sure is there's not that a lot plus of information the tick. getting out. So I assume it's a war. Beginning An inside war. Or, or us and Russia. Mean, you got to read the papers deeper than page one. The Russians recalled their staff from Washington. Did you even notice that? Something is afoot. Remember the post I made back in 2021? What was that? I don't know when it was but they were preparing us for like a nuclear bomb. Go outside until officials say it's safe. We're friends. That's the old way, George. You're not thinking clearly. Well, we could pay $1,000. Cash might not mean much if the government falls. Well, the whole network's down. Cash might be the only thing that means something. Soon cash won't mean anything either. I suggest you try your neighbors, the Thorns. They did a basement conversion on the down low a while back, no permits or nothing. A buddy of mine worked on it. He, he wouldn't even show me the plans. Rich asshole talk for Doomsday Bunker. Listen to him. Haven't you been picking up on what's going on out there, George? We've all been deserted. They're literally preparing us. Is the movie gonna end like this? I would like all of you off of my property. Go to the Thorns, like he said. Ah! I promised this boy's mother I'd get him some help. The only thing you're helping him do is a quick death unless you lower your weapon. This is a whole representation of just the chaos. What in the MK Ultra programming is going on? But my son is sick and my daughter is missing. Do they daughter. have any other movies no, together? I've never seen it's them in the same room. This like is crazy said. to me. Oh, look at them worlds colliding. Hey, I got another tidbit for you. It's the Koreans behind all this. I was driving around yesterday. It's a big drone dropping these everywhere. We're thinking Iranians. Why is that funny? Before the phones went out, I heard from a friend of mine in San Diego about a similar event, drones dropping pamphlets, except they were in Korean. Seeing as he did four tours in Iraq, he sure as shit would have known if it looked like that. So they're dropping different flags in different parts of America. Maybe all this means is a few of them teamed up. Or we are our own enemy. I just literally tweeted that earlier today. I literally said the United States biggest enemy is itself. But I was talking about, I was thinking about 9-11 stuff because I keep seeing 9-11 symbolism. And I wonder why, why false flags and all these flags falling out the skies. Lot. Oh my God. I saw flamingos in our pool last night. The animals are trying to warn us. They know something that we don't. Like when dogs know storms are coming. I always know when a storm is coming. Perk of my chronic illness. Us. What do you see? Us. That's gotta be where she went. If what just happened here is happening everywhere, we need to get to that bunker Danny told us about and we need to get there now. You know something. All sides were there, sure, but I, I didn't want to scare anyone. I didn't think we'd actually let something like this happen. I thought we were smarter than that. Simple three-stage maneuver that could topple a country's government from within. The first stage was isolation. Disable their communication and transportation. Like they did to us during The target is deaf, dumb, and paralyzed as possible. Setting them up for the second stage. Synchronized chaos. Dropping the flags out of- Terrorize them with covert attacks and disinformation. The noise. Overwhelming their defense capabilities, leaving their weapon systems vulnerable to extremists in their own military. Without a clear enemy or motive, people would start turning on each other. What's number three? A coup d'etat, civil war, collapse. The most cost-effective way to destabilize a country because if the target nation was dysfunctional enough, it would, in essence, do the work for you. Because we as people are so corrupt, everything that they do is able to work because we are so easily impressionable and so wrapped up in the bullshit of the world. Oh my gosh, this is actually genius. We are the problem. We will dismantle our own system because we don't trust each other. Whose alarm is going off? What are we looking at? Is it the daughter? Is she dead? Oh, is that the city? Why does that look like 9-11? That looks like 9-11. Oh my God. That's the city. I'm getting, yo, I'm getting out the city. Bro, I gotta get out of this city. Oh my God, I gotta get out the city. 
I've been literally saying this forever. Oh my God. And it happened so fast. This was what, three days? It took three days to start wilding? Was it like a weekend? Like they've been, they've like, what? The red door. The thorns. That's the people with the bunker, right? Rose been eyeing this house all day. Well, dang girl, save some food for li- Oh my gosh, kids are stupid. And you're mad selfish. You wasn't gonna go back and get your family? Like, that's crazy. I know you hear your mother calling you. Look at these red lights. Girl. Oh my gosh, that sound. What is it, lamps? Like, where is this orange light coming from? I really hate the sound of whatever that frequency from that light bulb is. Or it's the door, whatever it is, but the- Oh, she gonna lock herself in the bunker. Oh, a babe. Oh, hold up. Oh my God. This is crazy. How long have they been doing this? Cause it wasn't Aunt Jemima like discontinued. They don't have that. This is actually really sus. <laughs> this look, I like, they got Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben's, the Indian brand. Oh, oh. And that's the cream of wheat with black people on it. I'm telling you, mad stuff in this movie is racial. White House and major cities under attack by rogue armed forces, elevated radiation levels detected near multiple population centers, seek immediate shelter. Girl, go get your family. Buffy. Oh, is that friends? Gilmore Girls? Not the blue light on her. She gets the and the red in the background. She gets to watch the final episode. You really not gonna go get your family? The last one. No way. That was the end of the. Oh my god. Oh my god. So what happened? What happened? To everybody else. So we're just leaving. Oh, they pretty little liars me again. I cannot believe I got sex with this again. No. No. Oh my gosh, like there's so much here to unpack. So much here to unpack. So where are we leaning? Like, since we don't really know. Is it the evil cabal? Is it us? That's just crazy. Like they literally laid it out for us. Like they keep letting us know that if we keep being the people that we are, it's gonna be easy for any attack to work because we're so stupid. And people will watch this movie and be like, oh, it was a stupid movie. I didn't get it. it I didn't understand it. It didn't give me answers. It gave you every answer. I mean, like the end was stupid. I hate endings like that. But I mean, then also it like leaves it to your imagination. But I actually, no, I don't mind it because the disaster movies with an ending, it you nobody can really know what that ending will be. So I'd rather have it be kind of open-ended if that makes sense because we don't know you you like we we don't know what people will do how they will survive how they will react for sure we don't know we can only speculate but what she was saying about like the people that eat free range chicken to try to make themselves feel better about the crappy stuff that they do and the job that they work and this is why i said people think that you have to be in the music industry or be in hollywood to write your name in blood and make a pact with the devil to sell your soul but literally working in advertising when you know that you are working a job every day that's set out to manipulate people and teach them to obey and think this way and buy this and consume this it's just you're not a good person like you cannot convince me that's paparazzi you're chasing behind people invading their space trying like you're not a good person and i'm not sitting here like oh i'm a good person look at me like i don't think i'm the best person in the world like i, I think like i do try to be a good person but i'm not gonna sit here and be like i'm the best person ever or whatever but like that's why i don't trust people who are like i'm a good person i'm a good guy i'm a this this i'm a girl's girl i'm a this. like if you are something it'll just be like people will just be able to feel that from you or they'll see it like you if you keep telling me oh i'm a girl's girl what, what do you mean by that like what do you mean you're a girl's girl no you're not shut up like you half the girls girls are the nurses that be mean girls that please the good guys are usually the guys that are trying to force you to believe that they're such a nice guy and they deserve a chance because they're not this big you know whatever they think that the other guy that people are looking for is it's just it's exhausting i don't have time for people that are constantly trying to convince me that they are some type of person like bro 
No, we are all human. We all make mistakes. We all do some bullshit sometimes. Like, we've all been the villain in somebody's story. Two things can be true at once. You can be the villain in one person's story and the hero in another story. And that's just what it is. Does it mean that you're a terrible person? No, it just means that things happen. And some people see things certain ways, you know? That's why things can't be as black and white. That's why even with the conspiracy stuff that I do provide, conspiracy, <laughs> I try to show you guys both sides of it. It's sad that people that don't really understand my message, they'll read it and think like I'm fear mongering or I'm pushing like a one-sided like thing. But I do, I guess the people that know, know and they see for what I'm trying to do. I think that it's so important for us to see both sides and not get stuck in that gray area because for so much of my life like literally like leading up to before like I really I hate the like the woke you know woke up and all that stuff but like to where I really started seeing things for really what it was because I've always been skeptical I've always been a, like asking questions I've always been just things don't feel right whatever but like when I really went through my awakening stage because it comes in waves you know but like that's I wouldn't even say final wave because I don't I don't I'm not done growing I have so much more to learn I have so much more to do so it's not even like but the like the last wave that I went through was really where I was like okay like they like this is crazy like you can't keep seeing things in like black or white Toby like I had no gray area like it was either this is good or this is bad or like and bad was like ter like off limits like why would you do that I'm a Virgo Sun and Virgo rising I can come off very judgy even if that's not my intent but I know that I can and I am very like analytical and I can be very like one-sided on things so I try to see things but I'm usually not wrong though like I, can, I know I can sound a little morbid when I'm saying things but usually it's it's not wrong <laughs> and then there's my Sag moon like bro but I was right though like the delivery was off but the message still stands <laughs> And I feel like that's what this movie is too. It was so like, all these parts that was like so chaotic and so like in your face, like they, they, they gave you like all these different perspectives of what could be happening. But in the end, none of it really matters because the, the point is that it's all ending. Does it matter who bombed us? Does it matter who did it? Because you're gonna, like it's over. But the people who had that inside, just like, what was that, 2012? Like they had the inside scoop and they went in their little submarine ships and they, went to wherever they were going they showed us that shot of the moon looking because they're gonna go to the moon they're gonna go to space they're gonna do all that they're going underwater we all know but <laughs> to watch so there's like people that are still sending these notes too because you see the emergency broadcast so there's people in places that are watching this happen the people who gotta you know a heads up they just go to these other places and then they watch us collapse and what was the Thing. basically like the United States is 246 years old how long does it take for a society to collapse or whatever and it was like 250 years and like now we're at 246 like you know something like that it was I, I can't remember it off the top of my head but it was like a meme like that and it just really makes you think like you got your house and you got your bunker everybody needs to be built yo and the did you see Kim Kardashian going through those bunkers and all that stuff? I'm still trying to process this movie. I've been sitting here for two and a half hours. Oh my god. I have a lot of feelings. This movie, I don't even... Like, it was really in our faces. Like, everything that was going on. That took a lot out of me. How are you guys feeling? I, like, I'm at a loss for it because... I like I'm, I'm torn between wanting more like wanting them to like give me more direct answers like what do you mean by that but then I also like I already know what they mean like in my in, like in you know like when you just watch something and intuitively you just know like and you can't really put it into words what you just watched but I felt that and it's so crazy that there's a group of people that are gonna leave this watch not our watch but like that watched it at home and like watched it and the, they're gonna be on Twitter and be like this was the worst movie I ever saw and they're not realizing that those flashing lights and those freaking rain every freaking day sounds like the apocalypse here I wouldn't even know if something's happening outside because I'm just like trained to ignore all the sirens and all the, the, the explosions and the noises that are happening throughout Manhattan all the time these people are gonna watch it and be like program like literally the programming is, is gonna work because they didn't start flashing that across the screen and playing those noises to us for no reason to like I, they always do like that noise and it, they usually do it more subliminally throughout movies and I hear it all the time literally I watched a few clips of Beyonce's like renaissance thing and so many moments there was like ringing and a hypnosis like my and then she has a whole mind control segment literally whoever controls the media controls the mind and mind control blah blah, blah. it's further down on the patreon we get told about it before 
But the fact that this is so blatantly like in our faces and people will still be like, oh, yeah, everything you say is a conspiracy. These people are puppets, literally MK Ultra slaves. So people are going to fall for the program and then they're going to watch the t-shirts that say obey NASA and they're going to be like, oh no, NASA's real. And they're going to be arguing on Twitter talking about how people are on the moon right now. And they've been talking about the solar flares and all of these different things. Goodbye world. Um, YouTube is streaming again. One of those like psych you out movies. From what I remember, as I haven't watched it in years, but they were basically like made people think that that the world was gonna end, and people just did the jo that. Oh my God! Literally, what this what they did the job for them. If you create, if you present a problem and say, well, the world is ending, everybody's just gonna start losing their mind. They start destroying things, whether or not they even know what's happening. Like, oh my gosh! All right, this is getting too long, and I've been recording all day. I cannot. Thank you for watching this movie with me. I cannot, like, I, I just cannot believe that we are the problem. I mean, I know that we are the problem. I've been talking, how many, how, how many videos, how many things have I talked about how we need to stop being so, it's the culture, it's the, they're ruining us. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this watch along. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video or the next post, whatever's going on. I'll talk to you again soon. Time. I'm gonna sip this cup one more time